Say man, hey man, it's your boy Do It All Home. I'm back with another NBA 2K22 current gen build video. And today I have a special balance 50 badge facilitating finisher build for you guys. This build will be able to do everything you need it to do. Finishing, you can shoot at a high clip, you can make plays, and you can play great defense. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece. We are going with the shooting guard position, one of the best positions in the game this year. Uh, choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. And as you guys can see, we are choosing the skill breakdown with a lot of finishing and a lot of shooting. So you already know what time it is. We have a little bit of defense in there and a little bit of playmaking, but we will make it work in the end, okay? But let's get into the physicals, man. As you can see, I always like to choose the speed because I'm a speed demon, man. You know what I'm talking about? But if you want to be a true slasher like that, man, you can go for the one that has the highest vertical. And you still get decent speed. And the vertical is high as hell right there. You have an 83 vertical. And on the one with the speed, you have a 71. So that's a big gap from the uh, one with the speed and the one with the vertical. So that's totally up to you. I will leave that up to you guys. But let's get into the build, man. We're going to start building this house. Um, well, we're going to start. I ain't going to say house. I was about to say house. But, yeah, we're going to start building the house from the ground up. So let's start with the defense just to switch things up. I normally start at the finish and then go down. But we're going to start at the defense this time, okay? So for the defensive rebound, we're going to max that out at a 65 okay we're not necessarily worried about rebounding but we do want to have some rebounding on this build to get more badges and for the offensive rebounder we're going to get that up to a 38 we're not too much worried about that for the block though we're going to max that out at a 52 still we're going to max that out at an 80 and we're going to max the lateral quickness out at a 74 perimeter defense max that out at a 75 and as you guys can see we do get a total of eight defense and rebounding badges on this build which is not bad at all okay so Everything will change once you change the height, the weight, and the wingspan, so stick around for that. I'm going to show you later. And for the playmaking, before I get into the playmaking, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody need mama can see this video. And I need everybody need mama to see this video, so do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. And I'm going to try to get through this video as fast as I can, man. I'm going to start pumping out a lot of videos, man. I'm not going to make them long as hell. I'm just going to make them long enough for you guys to get what you need to get and get on down and go look at another video, okay? So... For the post control, we're going to get that up to about a, what I got, a 46. Yeah, we got a 46 on the post control. Uh, we got a 78 ball handle, which is crazy in my opinion for what we're going to do with this build. For the pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to a 78. And as you can see, we do get a total of 14 playmaking badges on this build to go out there and do what we need to do. You are a facilitator. You can make plays, and that's what I want you to do with this build. Now, let's get into the green bean. Make your girl scream badges. And we don't add any post fade on this build. You can add that if you want to. But when I do the shooting on builds, I try to get what gives me the most badges, okay? Not necessarily like saying like, oh, I need free throw. I need this. I need that. I'm trying to get the most badges out of what I can. But if you want to carry the build towards your play style, then I understand, okay? So if you want to play with the post fade, then that's up to you. You go ahead and add it. For the free throw, though, we're going to max that out at the 88. Three-point shot, we're going to max that out at an 81. And we're going to get the mid-range shot to a 62. Now, if you want to switch this around, by all means, go ahead and do it. Because some people like the mid-range. Me, personally, I don't shoot in the mid-range. But for the builds on current gen, you have to try to get as many badges as you can. Because it's not like next gen where you can get a lot of badges. So you have to try to do what get you the most badges. And as you guys can see, we get 15 shooting badges. People will see the name facilitating finisher. They're going to automatically think you can't shoot. But they will be wrong with this build, okay? Now, let's get into the finishing is what, um, you know, the pie chart was more finishing and more shooting, okay? So, we have the shooting uh, out the way. Now, let's get into the finishing. We're going to take the standard dunk to a 52. Some of you guys don't value standard dunk like I do. But if you can, man, please add standard dunk, standard dunk to your bills. It's very important. For the driving dunk, we're going to get that to a 78. Driving layup, we're going to get that to an 88. And we're going to put the rest on close shot. And that will give us 13 finishing badges on this build. Mm -mm -mm. A total of 50 badges on this build. 13 finishing, 15 shooting, 14 playmaking, and 8 defense and rebounding badges on this build. And let's get into the body shape, man. You know I really don't care about that body shape. So you can choose what you want to choose. That's totally up to you. And for the height, we are going with six foot five. As you can see to the left, nothing really changes with the height of six foot five. And we're going to go with the weight of, we're going to take it down. 
Let me get to it. Let me get to it. I don't like to do minimum, but I want to take it up to keep that 86 speed. So as you can see, 182 pounds will allow me to keep that 86 speed, and that's what we really want. Okay, we still have great acceleration on this build. For the wingspan, as you can see right now, nothing changes. But we're not worried about nothing changes. We want big monkey, well not big, but monkey um wingspan on this build at an 86 made maxed out. And as you can see, everything does change. We're going to get plus three on the close shot, plus three on the driver dunk. And keep in mind, once you get to a 99, you get a plus four on all that stuff. So you will end up with an 85 driving dunk. I know you're worried about that. And, you know, everything else is everything. And uh, you get pluses on your defense, too. But let's get into the takeover. We have finishing, playmaking, defense, and shooting on this bill. And that, that finishing takeover is something serious. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. Are you ready? Because I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We do have a facilitating finisher. We got Mitch Richmond, Bradley Bill, and Desmond Bain. Not a bad bill at all. But let's go ahead and test the bill right quick. So I can get you guys out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and max it out. Let's go ahead and max that out right quick. Let's get into the badges. So for the finishing badges, I really wanted to get the finishing badge to about 16, 15, 16, but you know, we have 13. So let's just choose the main badge first that I really want you guys to focus on. And it's these four right here. So we're gonna go with gold on all of those right now. And we still have one badge left. So you can take that one badge and put it on uh, Phyllis Finisher if you want to, that's up to you. You also get Rise Up, but we're not worried about that. Some of you may want to go with Phyllis Finisher, or you may want to take your poster rise to Hall of Fame, Slithery to Hall of Fame, uh, Limitless to uh, Hall of Fame. That's up to you, you know what I'm saying? But I just put it on Phyllis Finisher. But let's get into the shooting, man. 14 shooting badges is all I really need, man, to be honest with you guys. I would go Gold Catch and Shoot. I would go Gold Sniper. And the rest would be on my main badges, man. This is what I would do. This is what I really would do right here. And we still got one badge left. But these bags right here work the best for me with my bills, okay? And that's how I have it set up. And you can take that one badge and put it on Green Machine or something, or you may want to go Corner Specialist on Gold or Dead Out, something like that. It's up to you. But let's get into the playmaking, man. You have a lot of playmaking badges on this bill to choose from with 14. So let's get the main badges first. Uh, stop and go, unpluckable, tight handles. Let's see, anchor breaker. Um, what else? Bullet pass is very important. Hyper drive, handle for days, quick first step, space crater. These are the main badges. You still have five left, man. So if you want to set it up the way that I do, then you can go ahead and do that. That's up to you. But quick first step is very important to me. Anchor break is important. Space crater is another important one, man. I really need you guys to... I, I, I took stop and go off my bill, man. Stop and go wasn't really working for me. Uh, tight handles either, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. I might just... I might just go like this, man. I might just go like this. This is a this is a good combination to have, man, because space grade and quick first step are the main two bads that work because I try to stop and go, I try to tight handles, and that one really working that good for me, like these two bads right here. So I want to make sure I have those two bads up to par, okay? But let's get into the defense. You only get eight defensive rebounded bads, and I've been playing the game, man. Clamps don't work that good for me, man. It probably worked good for you guys, but Clamps ain't hitting no net for me, but I'm still gonna put it on the bill. We'll just go with silver on the clamps. Uh, you may want to go. You may want to go gold on clamps, man. That's up to you. And you have five badges left, so you can break them down how you want to. But this is how I break my badges down uh, because this is the way that I play. And we have two badges left. So me personally, I this is how I set mine up, man. It's just me. You know what I'm saying? I like chase down artists because uh, you got long arms on this bill. So. This is how I would set my bags up. You may uh, beg to differ, but you know this is how I would set mine up because I'm seeing what work on this game uh, day by day, and these bags work for me. But that's the bill, man. These are the bags. I'm out of here like last year, y'all. Charge!